Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're finally going to be doing um, another part of the Coordinate With Me series and I'm going to be doing an easy mode of old school <laughs> and um, that's pretty much like what I like to wear the most so yeah I'm doing easy mode I say because I'm just going to be focusing on like black and white and like the classics of old school not classic Lolita but like the classic old school look like what we think of when we think of old school I got bangs but I'm like parting them in the middle or like to the side a little bit. It looked like way cuter when the hairstylist did it for me and I'm trying to like emulate that because it's like supposed to be a little like wispy and like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into it. My first thing with old school is if you want to go and get an old school classic style, like a classic look of old school, not classic Lolita, that gets kind of confusing to say, but I would recommend looking for black and white because I think that is what almost everyone thinks of when they think of um, old school. So if that's what like you're going for and if you if you're always like, oh, I love old school, I think that's usually what people think of um, when they say that. So I would recommend looking into that. And um, they are usually more expensive because it is black and white. <laughs> and that's usually like oh, what a lot of people like and favor. But um, if you are somebody who likes Sweet Lolita, I think that it would be a really good thing for you to look into like Saks and um, in light pinks because those are usually a lot more easier to find um, in an old school style or an actual old school look like 2000 early 2000 um, dresses usually tend to be more um sacks and pinks that I find on the secondhand market and they usually be they usually are like a lot cheaper than their black and white or um <laughs> or tartan counterparts so I'd recommend looking into that if you tend to like those color schemes. But we're gonna go into black and white. And so I'm going to bring up an example that I think is really easy because it's actually set. So you've probably seen this before because I've mentioned it in a lot of my videos, but I have this meta set that is from 2006, I believe. So right on the edge of like what old school is considered. And so it's this black skirt and it has these bows on the side and then it has this kind of ruffle and it comes with a petticoat which is really nice, it's like built in. And my favorite thing about this set is this crown lace which is so old school because like the motifs of crowns and roses and like when you think of like, when you think of early 2000s in like late 90s and the kind of motifs that were popular which were like roses crowns like things that are just like dramatic kind of um or like goblin like floral like those were very like 90s early 2000s like if you just if you just think of like juicy couture like crowns um there was a lot of that and so that kind of trickles into lolita as well um oh, crosses is a huge one um I don't forget what the, what they're called, but like this kind of um, thing, I don't know what it's called, but that kind of thing. <laughs> so that was very popular and it has like um, waist ties and it's a very cute skirt. And then it comes with this blazer and this like blazer, this look of a blazer, which I have buttoned incorrectly on here, but you get the idea. <laughs> this blazer is very early 2000s as well because um I, at least growing up in the early 2000s i remember this like blazers being quite popular and like vests that had this kind of look this double breasted look this is irritating we have to fix that but that double breasted look was pretty in and like a low cut double breasted um vest i'm going to try to limit the amount of editing on this because i'm not sure how long this is going to be but yeah so and I think this would, it's, it's fun to have a blazer with Lolita 
because I know a lot of Lolitas love to have like um brooches and stuff and brooches I would for like classic Lolitas that's like really nice to have um so that's really a cute little addition and accessory and this has um the details the lace details on the sleeves and on the bottom and you can actually remove this on the bottom and then on the back it has this which is really cute but yeah um I really love this look for old school it's authentically old school and it's black and white and I got it for a very low price I think I got it for like $32 off of lace market back um I believe in like January or February of this year I'll, I'll, I'll put it maybe in here. I'm not sure. But yeah, something on the left. And that's really easy to get a set or to get just a dress, but um, I recommend looking into sets or dresses. Um, skirts, I really like skirts, um, especially for old school and old school. You can find a lot of skirts for old school, but be mindful that they usually are like really small. So uh, although I like them, it's like, um, they're not the best if you want to be comfortable or if like you are not sure about your measurements and stuff like they're they're usually pretty tight like not all of them because then there's full shirt ones and those ones are a blessing <laughs> but a lot of them's like the like babies um this is a baby one i think from 2003 or something um and you probably have seen this before too but there's not there's not much to this. I it's it's pretty small, so it ain't the most comfortable to wear. But I have a meta um, skirt that you guys have probably seen before too. It's like pink and red, and that one is also like authentically old school, I believe. And um, that one is amazing. The stretch is insane. It's fully shirred and it's meta. So if you can find a fully shirred meta skirt do yourself a favor and buy that because that is like the most comfortable thing that you can buy. <laughs> okay, so going forward, what I recommend for like blouses for JSKs um, or sets or just getting, if you have just a skirt, I remember, I honestly recommend getting like old body line because this is an old body line blouse and it has like crochet lace on it, which is like what I always think of when I think of an old school. And I just love this blouse for old school. It's like, it just looks very authentically old school with um, with the crochet lace. And like, it looks a little like, I don't know, kind of worn in a way to me. Not in a dirty way, but just like, it looks of that era, especially just like with how much lace there is right here. And it's very comfortable. But look for like, when you're looking for old school pieces, for like um, blouses especially, I would look for things that just have a lot of detail. Like there's even lace on the sleeves down here. They're really, it's really small, but there is a little bit. And like two rows of lace here, um, the pin folds and you know, the bows. And there's actually um, a lace up, but I just don't have it in there right now. So I look for that. And then I also have this body line blouse that I like, I love this body line blouse so much. Um, the lace isn't crochet. It's, it's kind of like a crappy lace, but like, I really don't care all that much because I like the way it looks. Um, and ladder, ladder lacing, like this right here, that's very popular in old school, like pieces, like, um, classic old school looks. And it's just something that I really like. And the, the fact that this is black and white, it just really pops and the amount of like lace on this. And then on the back, there's like this little lace up ribbon, which I just love this. And then even bigger plus to it all is it comes with um, detachable sleeves, which is very, like, I think when you think old school, think like dollies, like dolly looks and like dolls. <laughs> and kind of how like a doll would be dressed like a porcelain doll it's just like very um very delicate and um there's just details everywhere on the pieces and it's like fluffy and 
just very cute <laughs> and elegant. And I know a lot of people don't like when um, people say Lolita is Dolly, but um, that truly I think that that's what I think of when I think of old school. So I would recommend looking to that. Um, and then plus like just a white or a black blouse or like white and black, like the one I just showed you, that's just good to have like for all old school looks because it'll just go so well with everything. And you can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> for headwear, um, I I totally always recommend getting a wig because that's always just fun, but you don't have to do that. You can wear your natural hair. That was pretty common to do as well. And it's just fun to use your natural hair and like curling your hair or like either like curling it up and like kind of doing like a ringlets or like um, braids, like pigtail braids. That's really cute. Things like that. Again, just like think of like dolly stuff. <laughs> Um, of course, the um, rectangle headdresses, that's just like a staple, but um, I, this one I got um, from a friend, but she got this from like AliExpress. Um, this one I made myself, you can make them pretty easily, they're not too difficult, it's, it's, it's just like a rectangle and then you just put lace around it and add details. Um, and you can do like head bows too. I would say that the um, the rectangle headdresses are were more like popular, but head bows are just fun to be extra. And again, like the details, like the cross details, it's kind of like a little bit of a punky gothic touch to a dolly look. That's what I like to think of a lot of the time. I mean, obviously certain sub-styles of old school don't have those things to it, but that was pretty common. And then, or just like a simple, headpiece like this headband or a clip um simple stuff goes a long way um mini hats too i don't own a mini hat i don't personally care for mini hats all that much but mini hats were popular um or like they were a thing <laughs> even though like it's kind of funny because you think of all these things now and like a lot of people like not a lot of people all the way right now but like in Lolita, there's like certain stuff that has been considered Ida or like, this isn't Lolita. And like, it totally was at one point or like is in like the makings of what Lolita became to be. So that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, um, going forward from that, uh, for petticoats, you can wear a petticoat. You can wear as much petticoat that you want. Like really doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Cause like, I think of like old school like being kind of experimental in a way too um because it was kind of experimental like lolita like there wasn't years and years of like lolita community like stuff happening um of course there was like the makings of it like mixtures and stuff but like it, it's not like how it is now <laughs> um so i honestly don't care too much for like giant petticoats frankly like there's some there i like them in some dresses but a lot of older dresses usually tend to have smaller uh, space for the skirt so usually they have like crinolines built into it um so i usually just wear that or i sometimes put just like a very small petticoat underneath it even if it does or doesn't have a petticoat just just to give that like flair and sometimes I just don't because I like that, like I kind of like that look sometimes of like a, a dress without a petticoat underneath it, kill me. But I feel like it's like kind of fun to do sometimes. I don't know. It just feels kind of like the same as like the way when people wear baggy clothes. And I just feel like it's kind of cool stylistically sometimes, but kill me. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so you can do that, whatever you kind of really want to do, but I would recommend smaller to um, whatever is already in the dress. For leg wear, under the knee socks are great, or just plain simple tights. Um, you could also do just like under the knee socks that have like lace on it. You could just do plain under the knee socks. It really depends on the outfit. But with the outfit that we're going with, that I've been showing you, um, I'm going to do the blazer set. 
I'm gonna do, honestly, I, I could do this, but I think I wanna go even simpler than this. I think simple too, a lot of the time, like more simplified than what we're used to. Cause a lot of what we're used to right now, like when you look at, um, if you look at what Lolita is, like modern Lolita, it, it, it's a lot of OTT kind of looks, which is fine, it's totally cool. But like, I, I when I think of old school, I think a lot more simplified. So like, not so heavy on accessories, not so heavy on big poof, um, or like, not so heavy on like specific Lolita things either. A lot of like mixture from other styles. Okay, so this is the top and I kind of chose this one, not just because it's simple, but it kind of look like, doesn't that make it look like it's actually part of the blazer? I like, that's why I just love this dramatic collar and I love dramatic collars in Lolita and just in general. Um, but like the amount of lace, it kind of just matches with the amount of lace on the bottom here. It's like, it's just like perfect. It's rounded. It kind of like goes against with the angular things that are happening over here. I don't know. I really like that like that. So that's fun. It's a simple, it'll, it looks almost like it's just made that way. So that's kind of cute. So that's what we're going to do like that. The skirt with it. And you can kind of, you can leave the skirt obviously like that. Sorry, I'm just, I don't have like a really good area to do it. So that goes like, it, it, it's perfect for a set. What you could do, which is really fun too, sometimes, cause like, I know um, if you if you ever like look into the lead at all, there's like the thing of like, oh, it, it was almost called Alice K and stuff like that. Like, oh, it was almost called Alice K. And it's like, oh wow, that's, kind of crazy because it's like oh it's like Alice in Wonderland and like you can see there's a lot of Alice in Wonderland inspiration in Lolita and something I really like with old school um is let me show you these socks these socks are were kind of a thing think Alice okay <laughs> and I just love these I don't know I always thought they were really cute and I like to wear them with old school and Lolita like black and white Lolita stuff so I could do that with this because technically, oh, it technically it matches. However, I feel like if I was going to use these, I would use them with like this skirt instead, just because it's like, sorry, this skirt is like very, I just washed it and it dried flat, but it still came out wrinkled. So I'm going to have to steam it. But this to me goes a lot better than just the plain black. And the reason why is because there's a lot more like texture to this in terms of like the pattern, like the pattern's like a checkered pattern. And it, so it's kind of like wackier, I don't know. And this is just like more going on and like this kind of gray with like black is more prominent and the white is just kind of an accent. That's kind of how I see with this stocking. And it just gives me more of like an Alice in Wonderland look to it. Whereas like, if you think of, if you're going to be doing a simple look, whatever you choose that is busier, like these socks, which are busier, even though they're simple, they're busier, right? On their eyes. Um. If you chose that, this is going to end up being the state statement piece, which is really cute. It's cute. But if you like, if you want this to be your state, your um, staple piece, like the thing that people are going to be drawn to are going to be like these first because they just stick out because like this is so simple and this is like kind of wacky. So keep that in mind. So that's definitely something you can do, but I probably would do that with this look so all of these together would be really nice because it kind of matches the top the top is like black and white kind of just like the stripes and the bottom is like a little bit crazier but it's still like got the black and white and it has more of a theme to it and it has like a little print applique kind of thing so it's not as simplified for this one i would either go with black socks like black high socks white high socks just like normal 
or something like this. I made these socks. They're little, I need to make new ones because they got some strings now falling from them. But I just kind of like got white, white under the knee socks. And then I put my own lace on them. And then I added a ladder lace to it. And then I put a ribbon around it and then I tied it so that it has that kind of detail like that. Which this would be really good with pairing with the blouse, the black and white blouse, because like, it's like the exact thing, you know? So that's always, that's always kind of nifty and neat. But for this look, I feel like these go a lot better because they're just so simple and they have the same color scheme, but they're simplified and the motif, like there's no craziness happening everywhere. <laughs> Um, another thing that would be really well for if you want a staple piece is bags. And these are the two bags that I love as staple pieces. It's this tartan bag. It's just like an off-brand Taobao tartan bag. I always got a lot of compliments on it when I go out because people think it's just a couture. It's not. <laughs> but it's very 2000s. Um, it has like a crown, it has like a skull on it, so that's also very like punky in 2000s. It's tartan, 2000s, gold accents, just a lot of 2000s inspiration. <laughs> um, but I love adding that to my black and white pieces just because it really stands out, but it still has that like old school look and flair to it. Sorry, I'm always playing with my hair. Um, but yeah, it has that old school look to it because of those motifs being very representative of that time period and like those punk kind of nature to them and then i also really like this bag it's just a fluffy like y2k kind of bag it's black and white so it goes pretty well with a lot of things but um i'm not gonna do a statement piece bag that's because i want to keep it simple and i just don't really want anything to stand out right now for that one so i always like to go with just a simple black heart bag big heart bag so it's like it's kind of a staple piece but it's not like in your face so yeah i always like doing that and that matches perfectly or i have this baby the starshine bright heart enamel bag and that's always good to have too because it's cute it's dainty and it's good for like a more simple outfit like casual outfit because this is more like ex extravagant and this is more like, I'm just gonna go to the store really quick. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my simple easy. I'm probably gonna do another one at some point and do like medium or like not casual and just more so, like this wasn't actually that casual. This is like more of the medium, but like um, more doing a more complex look, adding more accessories and things like that. Um, for accessories, I meant to mention like more simplified accessories. The Baby Star Shred and Bright logo is just very iconic. And I, it, I like, I think that like reds and golds are really great. Um, I have this like plain silver, sterling silver ring that a friend made me. And I really like using this because it kind of, I don't know, it kind of gives me, <laughs> it kind of gives me like punk vibes to it. I don't know. So yeah, same thing with everything else. Kind of a little bit more simplified. But yeah, so thank you for joining me. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, yeah, so thanks to you. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you what these outfits look like on my body. <laughs> okay, so I have the statement bag, just a black simple heart bag that I got from Taobao. Um, this bodyline blouse that I showed you, the whole set I showed you, and I'm leaving the blouse untucked because that's kind of just like the style back then. Um, I also kind of like that it gives another layer of ruffle and lace. Um, for accessories, I'm just doing the Baby the Starshine Bright um, gold logo ring. And then on my head, I have 
a newspaper boy hat, I believe is what it's called, and I know that's a little bit, um, not very Lolita, a little experimental, but like I, like I said before, um, it's very of the 2000s, and it matches the outfit, so this is what I'm doing for the first choice. I also decided to wear longer black Innocent World bloomers underneath this because I just think that that gives it more of a dolly look. And I also put a very small petticoat underneath this skirt as well as the next one. And um, for both of these fits, I'm doing um, Doc Martin Mary Janes. Okay, so for this look, I am doing the black and white. Um, ladder lace bodyline blouse that I showed you, but I put the sleeves on it. I put the sleeves on it because um, it's winter time and because this outfit is a little bit more um, extra or like there's more going on, I felt like that fitted the theme of it. Um, that's a little bit busy. So, um, so yeah, more is better for this coordinate um, because I just think it's more fun that way. So that's why I added the sleeves. Pro tip, if you're trying to remove or add sleeves to um, any of your detachable sleeve blouses, try using a crochet hook because I always struggle putting them on and off of the buttons because the elastics are so small and like the buttons are so slippery, but using a crochet hook is really helpful. So if you have one around, try that. Uh, so yeah, so I'm using this blouse, um, the skirt I showed you, the Baby Star Shine Bright skirt, and the like is quite short for what we're used to in a lot of Lolita stuff um but I kind of prefer that because um I like wearing bloomers underneath it so um that's what I'm doing and then I'm wearing the striped socks and the same bag and this headdress and then I'm also going to show you it with um a bigger head bow that I think also goes well it's just I would prefer if my hair were bigger but I don't really want to tease it right now, so um, I'll show you that as well. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.